comes time to offload some of the information from your data loggers, you're going to want to connect to the ones that are within range. So we'll connect to the first one, which is the conference room, by tapping on it. And it's going to go out and connect to the logger. From here, underneath the actions, we're going to select readout, at which point it's going to offload the data. It's then going to verify it, generate what we call a mini graph, and tell you that the readout has been successful. Now at the bottom you're going to notice that there's the data files and the number one just showed up. This indicates that you now have a new file. And we'll just go ahead and redo this here to show you that now you have the number two that's come up. So after that we want to take a look at our graph. We're going to come down and click on tap on data files at which point we disconnect from the data logger. And now we're looking at the mini graphs that we've generated here. So we've got a number of them. But what we'll do is go ahead and tap on the first one entitled Conference Room. And what this will do is generate the larger graph. Sometimes it's a little easier to go from the portrait to the landscape mode. Uh, it's a little easier to look at. Now there's a couple things that you can do right here within the graph. By holding down on one of the data traces with your finger, you're going to see that the crosshair tool comes up and you can just kind of take this and slide this along so if there's a specific point you want to see what the time was as well as in this case the temperature reading was or if you want to come over to humidity you can see what the uh, humidity level was. A few other things you can do, the three lines in the upper right hand side we're going to tap on that and let's say for example in this case we were doing statistics and we want to plot uh, the max temperature for example. We'll do the max and minimum and we'll turn off the relative humidity and let's throw dew point in there as well. And then we just come back and what this does is it now generates a new graph. So as you can see very quickly you can get in do a little bit of analysis using the Hobo mobile app and the graphing features that are available.